patient is a 57-year-old male, infected with hepatitis C, which caused mild child's A cirrhosis with no portal hypertension. A 3.2 centimeter hepatocellular carcinoma was found in segments 7 and 8 during surveillance imaging. The tumor also involved the main right hepatic vein. A formal right hepatectomy was considered as treatment. However, the future liver remnant, FLR, volume of 31.4% was inadequate. A portal vein embolization, PVE procedure, was used to induce hypertrophy of the FLR. A catheter is inserted into the ipsilateral right portal vein, RPV, using a transhepatic approach. The catheter tip is directed at the main RPV, and a nitinol plug is introduced distal to the bifurcation. The occlusion of the RPV prevents the embolizing agent from migrating to the left lobe. The agent, N-butyl cyanoacrylate, is injected to fill the RPV out to fourth generation branches. After four to six weeks, hypertrophy of the liver left lobe is induced. The post-PVE FLR of 63.2% was adequate for the planned right hepatectomy. The transection plane will be to the right of the middle hepatic vein, starting from the right middle hepatic vein groove, extending to the gallbladder fossa. Following a cholecystectomy, portal dissection will identify and divide the anterior and posterior branches of the right hepatic artery. The right portal vein will be divided proximal to the nitinol plug, which will be palpable just distal to the portal bifurcation. The right hepatic duct will be left intact during portal dissection and will be divided with the biliary plate after parenchymal transection.